would be beneficial to get the landowners together at the same time in one room and explain things together as a group or you know the individual thing they they feel like you're trying to gang up on them or that's what I think opinion. I think maybe if you understood what the DOT was intending right. to do with that property first then they could always come back and, and you can hold a meeting with all the landowners at once. That way they understand when sure. they're together they don't feel like they Because you have decisions to make as a city right. too as to what whether what you're gonna do about infrastructure and stuff like that, which the DOT does has nothing to do with. So right. Right. yeah. So, no, I agree with you. Sometimes they do feel like they're I mean when you have two one council, on one two council people or whatever approaching Sure. You know, you know what I mean. Oh sure. And if they don't think they're being singled out, they understand that they're one of five or four or whatever it is. Probably would be, be best if you put your plan in place and then present it. Yeah. You could present it to the whole community at the time, you know. There'd be other stakeholders there as well. Mm -hmm. I can't believe the impact of the construction crew on the county as far as revenue just in the last well, year. I, I was telling somebody that we met with during the weekend and wish we had a motel going yeah. because we could have made a hell of a lot of money just from the construction crews. You know, I par out that was stationed out here at mm -hmm. the old, uh, I don't know where they, they went, Sac City or Storm Lake, I'm sure. We could have had this thing filled for two months solid. They were, some of them are looking for houses to rent because they know they're going to be here for, like yeah. rich guys are to be, yeah. be here for a year and a half. Today, so, and some people have booked rooms for so many nights a week for the next three years, and so um, just eating, buying gas, you know, your convenience stores, and you know, you can't believe the amount of money that's being spent in the county by the construction workers themselves. So, and some of that revenue could be coming our way if we had a truck stop or something motel out there. If you do, you have a, do you have any vacant homes here? I mean, you know, if you could keep a list very here. Very few. Very few. But if there is anything for rent, you know, there three or four will rent a house versus you know living in a motel for the next 17 years too. So, the bridge people, Garrison Smith is the one that has uh, the contracts for these, and then Christensen has the one for Cedar River. So those people are basically local. Yeah. But as far as the dirt moving crews, they'll be back in the spring. So. And they're too far away from home to drive home at night, so. Where are these crews from that are doing the British? The, the, the bridge here, the drainage here? The I don't know if, if who has this one? It's Galverson. Galverson? And this is Galverson's. Oh, they yeah. do? Oh, yeah. 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 No, they're yeah. Uh, really yeah. And I don't know who's got place in the con uh, culverts and stuff. Because I know uh, Hancock's got a lot of culverts to be, to be built. So. They got a lot of the tile work, but who's setting them is the yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know who's setting them. Well, it's different for every spot, so yeah. I can tell you the right off hand. So. How do they bid those? Every so many miles? Every project gets bid. So every drainage project. Every bridge project, every yeah, it all gets bid. So, yeah, you get the. It takes somebody from your company to be on top of all of that. So, okay. Well, if you want to, you know, like I said, set up a committee or something to work on it. If you want to talk to the DOT first, and you have the time to come, great. I think you should take that advantage. So, and we're, I'm here to help you. you know. yeah, I don't appreciate it. Appreciate you staying on top of it for us. <laughs> <laughs> Now's the time to move, however, guys. We've sat long enough, so. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll be on the committee. Hey, oh. there's one volunteer. There you go. I don't know why I'm going, so that's what I'm going to be right. in your office a few days. You're ago. learning, <laughs> right? <laughs> Anybody else? If not, I'll, I'll go for one. Or do we need just, uh, can we appoint a committee outside the, the council 
sure. people on, uh, in the community that would be on the council or be on the committee. I mean, and there's a couple of people out there that are pretty knowledgeable about what's going on. Well, so. I'm thinking there are, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want, you know, I wouldn't know why you couldn't. You know, you're going to bring a recommendation back to the council. Nobody, they can't do anything right, right. without yeah. it coming back and becoming a city motion or something. So, might be a good idea. That way you get some community aspect, too. Mm -hmm. And if you need to do some community planning in the process, you know, and signs and stuff like that, let me know. And maybe you'd be a good candidate for that visioning process that a lot of the communities have been through. Uh, do you have to have this rezoned for the si some of the signs? Well, we'll take care of that with the county zoning. Okay. So. But if it's city limits, you take precedence over the county zoning, you know. So you might want to look at your own sign ordinance oh, yeah. <laughs> while you're thinking about it. Yeah. I don't think we even got a sign ordinance, do we? It's probably in your planning and zoning. I'll bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, this one is mm -hmm. it. Maybe we'll be able to get somebody from the focus committee too to go in on it. Any other questions? They're telling me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, Shirley. Yeah.